Hey everyone, welcome back to Sarah's Bites. So miso soup is one of my all-time favorite soups ever. So I wanted to show you guys how to make this very simple and quick version that I make all the time at home. So I got my tofu and miso paste at a local Asian market here in Austin, Texas. Um, tofu, you can get firm, soft, really what your preference is. As far as miso paste though, that is the most important part here. Um, I think that's what makes or breaks your miso soup. So make sure you get a miso paste with dashi stock inside it. Unless you can get dashi stock separately, if you cannot, get the miso paste with that in there because it will not taste the same if it's not in there. So to start this recipe off, you're gonna go ahead and have to let your dried shiitake mushrooms soak in some boiling water. Uh, my shiitake mushrooms were pretty long, so I just kinda used my fingers to break them up. And then I poured in, for two cups of shiitake mushrooms, I poured in about two cups of boiled water on top, and you're gonna put a lid over that and just let that sit for about 20 to 30 minutes so they can soften up. As you can tell right here, they're pretty soft, so just drain those. And you can use any mushrooms that you want, just make sure when you're using dried ones that you do not skip the step or they're gonna be super chewy and rubbery. Now go ahead and boil eight cups of water in whatever pot you wanna use, and you're gonna to start to stir in your miso paste. So I started off with about four tablespoons. Make sure you don't go too crazy with the miso paste because you can always do a taste test and see if you would like to add in more. So start off with four tablespoons if you're doing eight cups of water, and this is a lot of soup, you guys. So it's gonna feed the whole family, and I don't mind eating leftover miso soup. I know some people don't like it, so if you do not like leftover miso soup, just go ahead and cut this recipe in half. But give that a nice taste. Use a whisk to stir it, just because that miso paste is pretty thick. And then go ahead and add in more miso paste if need be. That is all completely preference. So I ended up using five tablespoons of miso paste in here. As soon as you dissolve that miso paste into that boiling water, go ahead and turn the heat down all the way to low. Add in your shiitake mushrooms. I love mushrooms, so I always add an extra. I did two cups of mushrooms. Feel free to use less if you want more broth. And then I added two whole green onions that I chopped up and four ounces of soft tofu. Um, that's all preference-based. Feel free to add in more, less. That, like, there's really no way you can mess this up, to be honest, as far as adding these ingredients. Just make sure that water is not boiling anymore or that broth. And then you can even add in some wakame seaweed or really whatever you like. And turn the heat off as soon as you add in everything. Just give it a nice quick stir. And in my opinion, miso soup is best served hot. Even if it is left over, you can warm it up and eat it hot. And that is it. It's completely ready to be served. I hope you guys enjoyed this soup and watching this recipe. If you did, please give me a thumbs up below and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments if you do end up trying it, how you like it, and what other ingredients you like to add inside your soup. I'll see you guys next week in the next video. Bye.